Hey my friends, what is good? Derek here from Bomb Socks with more Bomb Bites, where we feast upon the words of Christ one bite at a time. So this week as we're finishing up the Come Follow Me study with the introduction to the Book of Mormon before we start up in 1 Nephi chapter 1 next week, I want to back up a little bit with this idea that we talked about yesterday of witnesses and what it means to be a witness of the Book of Mormon. I believe that we are led today by one of the greatest witnesses of the Book of Mormon, that is Russell M. Nelson. In fact, you remember October 2022 General Conference. Elder Ronald A. Rasband gave a wonderful talk called This Day, and it is such a good talk as far as inspiring you and I to be able to share the Book of Mormon with other individuals. President Nelson not only knows the Book of Mormon is true, but he does something about it. So I love the story that Elder Rasband gave here, so go ahead and watch this. This day, one of the greatest missionaries of the Book of Mormon is President Russell M. Nelson. When he was a newly called apostle, he was giving a lecture in Accra, Ghana. In attendance were dignitaries, including an African tribal king, with whom he spoke through an interpreter. The king was a serious student of the Bible and loved the Lord. Following his remarks, he was approached by that king, who asked in perfect English, Just who are you? President Nelson explained, he was an ordained apostle of Jesus Christ. The king's next question was, what can you teach me about Jesus Christ? President Nelson reached for the Book of Mormon and opened it to 3 Nephi chapter 11. Together, President Nelson and the king read the Savior's sermon to the Nephites. Behold, I am Jesus Christ, whom the prophets testified shall come into the world. I am the light and the life of the world. President Nelson presented the king with that copy of the Book of Mormon, and the king responded, You could have given me diamonds or rubies, but nothing is more precious to me than this additional knowledge about the Lord Jesus Christ. That is not an isolated example of how our beloved prophet shares the Book of Mormon. He has given copies of the Book of Mormon to hundreds of people, always bearing his witness of Jesus Christ. When President Nelson meets with guests, presidents, kings, heads of state, leaders of business and organizations, and of diverse faiths, whether at church headquarters or in their own locations, he reverently presents this book of revealed scripture. He could give them so many things wrapped in ribbons that might sit on a table or desk or in cabinets as a reminder of his visit. Instead, he gives what is most precious to him, far beyond rubies and diamonds, as the tribal king described. The truths of the Book of Mormon, President Nelson said, have the power to heal, comfort, restore, succor, strengthen, console, and cheer our souls. I have watched as these copies of the Book of Mormon have been clutched in the hands of those who have received them from our prophet of God. There could be no greater gift. Just recently, he met with the First Lady of the Gambia in his office and humbly handed her a Book of Mormon. He did not stop there. He opened its pages to read with her, to teach and testify of Jesus Christ, His atonement, and His love for all His children everywhere. Our living prophet is doing his part to flood the earth with the Book of Mormon, but he cannot open the floodgates alone. We must follow his lead. Yep, just like he said, we got work to do. President Nelson can't do it all by himself. I mean, he's doing pretty good at it, but I think you and I need to be able to do that. President Nelson has given us wonderful prophetic promises about the Book of Mormon. In fact, there was one talk. It was shortly before he became president of the church. It was called The Book of Mormon, What Would Your Life Be Like Without It? It was given in October 2017 General Conference. Again, he wasn't even president of the church at the time, but he dropped some bold promises about what happens when you and I take the time to really study and become witnesses of the Book of Mormon. 
Mormon. He said, my dear brothers and sisters, I promise that as you prayerfully study the Book of Mormon every day, you will make better decisions every day. That's a bold, bold promise, but I love it. I promise that as you ponder what you study, the windows of heaven will open and you will receive answers to your own questions and direction for your life. I promise that as you daily immerse yourself in the Book of Mormon, you can be immunized against the evils of the day, even the gripping plague of pornography and other mind-numbing addictions. Bold promises from President Russell M. Nelson. And really, you could go back to any president of the church and you look at prophetic promises about the Book of Mormon and you will see so many amazing promises. These are not just idle words from men. These are prophets of God testifying of what will happen when you and I take time to read from this most correct of any book this keystone to our religion, the book that is going to show unto you Jesus Christ and the covenants and to show us that we are not cast off forever. I am so grateful for these introductory pages and the promises of wonderful witnesses to the Book of Mormon if you and I will take the time to read it. I promise you that as you study these things that every other prophet has promised you about the Book of Mormon will come to pass. I know that's true because I've had it happen in my own life and I'm excited to study it this year with you. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you for sharing these messages. We are so grateful that you do that. If you like what you see, please click that like button. And of course, you've got to go check out our amazingly comfortable gospel-themed socks at bombsocks.com. You guys have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.